This is a demo of a basic positional search using the Mass Data Discovery Portal. Um, I'll start up here. I'll search for Messier Object 60 with a radius of 3 arc minutes. As you can see, the AstroView tool has targeted Messier Object 60. I can bring this out a little bit while the rows load. Uh, we've seen the footprints around the observations that we've found. Um, we have the observations here in a grid, previews of the spectra, and the images. We have a filter panel over here which allows us to filter down uh, by instrument, or by, by mission, by instrument, um, wave band, any of the columns that were available to us in this grid. You see there are more over here on the right. Uh, we have special filters for numerics columns that allow us to shrink down based on a certain RA or DEC or any of these other fields. As you can see, the footprints start disappearing as we eliminate them from our grid. Let's say I also wanted to just see the ACS footprints. From there I can select them. You see they appear to be a different color. If I were to unfilter them, they would still be at the top and they appear to be different from the other ones. What we really want to do is download the data that are associated with these observations. Um, we can do that by clicking on these icons in the individual rows to download them individually or we can, we can download everything that's selected by clicking on this button. This puts all the data that are associated with these observations into the download basket. You saw briefly that there were many more rows in here than what we ended up with. We selected uh, what we call recommended products uh, as the default. Uh, you can get everything by unchecking this box. As you can see, there's some more stuff in here, <clears throat> but in our case, I'm just going to download the recommended products for now. And all you have to do, you can individually select the things that you want based on if you just want the catalogs, if you want the science images, if there were some previews that you wanted. You can filter on them the same way that you would with the normal grid. I'll just select everything, hit this download selected items button. Uh, you can select if you want it in tarball, if you want it in a zip file, if you want it in a wget or curl script, it will provide that for you and then you can run it later at your leisure. Um, it's given us some default name, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, you can elect to remove or not remove the items from the basket when the download is done. I'll start the download. Um, out here on our servers. What this is doing is it's downloading all the files to our server and then creating a tarball that it's then going to send to you. So it has some idea of how much it's working. This will be a few seconds. And then your download is sent to you and your browser downloads it like it would with any other file.